All right, so final part. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I it's a sick video, yeah. I thought it'd be cool to talk about this topic. Um, how to not let Peter or Mel, because Mel's greedy too, man. He made like three hundred million dollars off off the off the gross sales of Passion Right. He's greedy too. So be careful for Mel. Be careful for Peter. They're greedy people, obviously. Be careful for the Hollywood actors. They're greedy people, especially Keanu Reeves and Ben Affleck and Scarlett. They're greedy people because they're bigger A-listers and Hollywood treats them like gods. They're greedy people. They're, they'll accept my deal, obviously, because they don't make this in Hollywood. But be careful for them. They're, they're greedy. Their agents are going to try and get more money, most likely. I even went about $80 million. I'm like, no, man. I'm not paying Ben $80 million. $66 million is enough for Ben. And $60 million is enough for Scar. And $125 million is enough for Keanu. I'm not paying me more than that, man. It's a deal, Ivan. We don't even make this in Hollywood. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a deal, Ivan. They sign our contracts. They're all happy when I'm done. Especially guys like John Mayga, Vaughn Joji, and like Carl Urban and Neil Manette and John Wayne Savage, you're not like those actors do. If they want 10 million roles, I'm like, guys, you're, you're not even A-list actors, you're B-list actors, B-list rising star actors. You're not getting any more than 5.5. You're not worth any more than that. The only ones who are worth more than 5.5 are the A-listers. Like, Dijamal and Sue, you can pay him 6.3. Angelina Bassett, you can pay her like 7. Seven. She's worth like twenty million bucks around there. Pay her seven million in royalties. Andy Circus, I can pay him seven million in royalties. Seven point five million. I can pay him and Anthony Bassett seven point five million in royalties, excluding their base. Okay, give Andy Circus seven point five million royalties. Give Anthony Bassett seven point five. You can even give them eight. Give Anthony Bassett eight. Give uh, uh, Andy Circus eight. But if they want ten, I'm like, you're not worth ten, man. You're not as big as I just Alba. And, and, and Don Chu, you're not getting you're not getting ten, but I'll give you eight. Give Andy Circus eight. So what to keep Andy Circus happy, you make less than John Boyega and DJ Monsu for your base because you're not as major as them. Because you're an AS actor, I'm still gonna pay you a rich salary. I'll pay you like your seven point eight. But I'll give you more in royalties to keep you happy. I'll give you eight million in royalties to keep you happy. Is that is that is that a fair that's a fair deal live and yeah. Obviously. So for your base, I pay you less because Job is not as major as Cassius and Tessitonius. But for your royalties, I pay you more because you're bigger than them. So Andy Circus is worth about $20 million. He's bigger than Dijamon too. He's bigger than John Mayego. He's bigger than Avon Joje. So pay him more in royalties. And Zia Bassett's worth about the same amount of money. She's worth like $20 million. Pay her $8 million royalties. But you, but for her salary, I'll pay her less than John Mayego. And these are suit because Queen Sarah is not as major as John as 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 Tassitonius and Cassius. She's a major character, obviously, but she's not as major as 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 as, as Tassitonius and Cassius. So I'm saying, so I'll pay I'll pay her eight point five for the role, actually, a Bassett. You're paying uh John Mayer more than me, yeah, because Tassitonius, you read my book, Tassitonius is, is is more of a major character than Queen Sarah. That's why I'm gonna, I'll pay you a bit less. But I'll give you more in royalties. I'll give you $3.5 million more in royalties. Eight, I'll pay you $8 million. $2.5 million more money than, than, than the other guys. I'll pay you more in royalties than John Wayne, than, 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 than Digimon Sue. For the royalties. That way you keep them happy, obviously. Some i saying? John Wayne Savis, I'll give him five point five million dollars. John Wayne Savis is a biggest actor. After Lord of the Rings, he, has, he hasn't really had, done any big budget movies. He's been doing television and all stuff. He's the biggest actor. He's worth $3 million. Pay him like three, th three, three point five. I can pay him 3.5. Or you can pay him 4 if you want. But Eli is not as... Pay him 3.5. Gotta watch for your budget. Pay him 3, 3.5. Give him five point five million. That's a good deal for him. Good retirement for him once, once he's done. Okay, look, man. Once you're done your movie, I recommend you enjoy your life for the remaining animal seven years you have on this earth. Which he will. Yo, I mean, after I do Zanes and I made my millions, I'm going to retire and enjoy my life for the remaining. Hopefully you live till you're like almost 100 and you enjoy your life for another maybe 14 more years before you pass away. Because John Wayne Savis will be like in his 80s, man, when we film the movie. That's what worries me about John Wayne Savis. He's going to be fucking old. He's 78 now. Let's say if I film Zanes in 2030, that's what? That's seven years from now. He'll be like 85, 84 years old, man. Peter might tell me, yeah, I mean, what worries me about him is his age. Ivan, don't worry about it. Christopher Lee was in his 80s. He, he when, when he filmed The Hobbit, he was fine, Ivan. We just, we, we can just have it. We can have a chair for him, or for him to sit down. He'll be fine, Ivan. Oh, uh, yeah. What worries me is uh, the last thing I want to do is have him film the movie 
we get this horrific news that he passed away. And he, 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 he what? Don't want to say couldn't couldn't make it. Couldn't make it to can't make it to 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 to, 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 to the what? To to, to 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 the red carpet event. I'll be I'll be very I'll be very pissed off. Obviously, I'll be saddened by his passing. Obviously, God forbid. I hope I hope he makes it long. Obviously, hopefully he makes it until he's ninety five. And 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 and, and, and what? I'm gonna have the trained nutritionists create a special diet plan for him. That, that way he's in shape. Okay, hey, make sure he eats well. Make sure he exercises. That way he's in shape for the role. Cause Eli fights in the movie too. What I'll do for John Wayne Davis, I'll have stunt doubles for him for the, for the fighting. So John Wayne Davis, you can I have to train with you the third year, but not not lighter training. Obviously, or but you might tell me, Ivan, I want to do my own stunts. I'm like, are you sure, man? Can your body handle it? You're old now, man. When you did Lord of the Rings, you were in your late 50s. You're not as young as you used to be, John Wayne Davis. He's a lot older than he is. But I think he's perfect for the role of Eli's father. He even kind of looks like her. Here they are. I, mean, I can picture him as Eli. He has that powerful voice. That beautiful, um... That beautiful what? Darwin Davis has that beautiful, powerful voice. I think he's perfect for Eli. I can picture him as as, 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 as Rijay's father. Peter might tell me that. Mel might tell me that. Yeah, I could picture him as, as BJ's father. Yeah. The only thing that worries me about him is his age. Bernard Hill is good for Eli too, but he, does, he doesn't look as much like BJ. And he's the same age as Bernard, as, 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 uh, as, as John Rice Davis. He'll be in his 80s too. Whereas back in Lord of the Rings, they were young. They were in their late 50s. They were fine back then. Because they're a lot older now, obviously. I'll see what. My prayer is hopefully they at least make it and make it to the red carpet. Cause I don't want to. I don't want to get this news that they passed away. I don't. Know, they filmed the movie and then a year later they pass away and I get this horrific news. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? You know, what I'm saying. I'm saying, yeah. Obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously. God forbid. Obviously. God forbid they pass away. Obviously. That's what worries me. Their age. They're fucking old. That's the thing, though, man. Cruz, I have no worry about those. those, those I have no worry about they'll make it. I'm saying, I know you worry. Yeah, I worry. I worry about their age a little bit. I have no worry about they'll be fine. Peter will tell me that. I know. Mel will tell me they'll be fine. Ivan, I'm saying, yeah. Because once you hit your 80s, you're, you're 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 don't hate me, guys. Once you hit your 80s, you're now near death. Any any day now, you can you can pass. You can wake. You can sleep and never wake up. Once you hit your eighties, that's when that's when it's every night when you sleep, you're you're scared you might not you you might you might never wake up, obviously, when you're in your eighties. Obviously, right? And when you're in your nineties, you're you you know your you you know your time is soon coming to an end. Like what's his name? Um Clint Eastwood is ninety years old, man. So any time he's I'm pretty sure he's he 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 knows, yeah. Any any day now, uh, one day I'll wake up and I'll one day I'll I'll sleep and I'll never wake up because he's ninety years old man. He's fucking old Clint Eastwood. Ninety years old he is. He knows his time is soon coming to an end. Obviously, he'll sleep and he never wakes up. Obviously, which is a scary thing. Obviously, I always wondered. Before I, I'm gonna, I'm sidetracking here. I always wondered like all the guys who were like 85, 90, I always wondered like aren't. Don't you ever think about death? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you know, any day now, you, 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 you're you never going to wake up. Doesn't that scare Yeah, it scares us. I, I try not to think about it. You know what I'm saying? I never have to worry about that. Except for saving my wife, obviously. After that, I never have to worry about death. I'll be living forever in this world. I'm the fucking source. <laughs> you know, I even never, never have to worry about growing old, dying of old age. He's going to live forever in this world. Yeah, I'm going to live forever in this world with my wife. Well, you guys are all going to pass away. <laughs> In like 20, 30, 40, 50 years from now, man. 60 years from now. Yeah. It's actually funny, you know what I'm saying? I never have to worry about death. I'm the source of life itself. I created life. I don't have to worry about death, obviously. I created the universe, man. I don't, I don't have to worry about death, obviously. With the exception of saving my wife, that's the only thing I have to worry about. But after that, I never have to worry about death ever again, obviously. Never have to, I'll never grow old. I never have to worry about dying of old age. You know what I'm saying? I'll be living from this world. Yeah, man. Peace out, world. Yo, you deserve. Let's see. Yeah, I thought it'd be cool to make this video talking about salaries. And do not let the Hollywood actors dupe you. 
from there. I'm not going any higher than 125 million for Keanu Reeves. That's enough for him. If I do the him that movie, I'm not going any higher than 125 for Will Smith. I'm not going any higher than one for Dwayne Johnson. Not he's not as big as Will. I pay. I, it depends how much he's worth. For Dwayne Johnson, he's worth like three twenty million dollars. I'd pay him like the, about the same thing, one twenty million dollars or because one fifteen, one. You know what I'm saying? Someone like Leonardo DiCaprio, I'd give him maybe like ninety million royalties or something like that. He's not as big as those guys. He's worth like two hundred million dollars. Give him 90, 90 million, 95 million royalties for the him for the Western Gangster movie. And Shia LaBeouf, if he's worth like six hundred million by then, obviously. You can pay him like his fifty million base. You can give him like twenty million royalties for the for the for the movie. That's a good deal for Charlie Buff. Sign him to like a thirty five million dollar deal. That's a good deal for him. Pay Charlie Buff fifty million base. Chances are Charlie Buff will be worth maybe sixty fifty five million dollars in in like twenty years from now. If I do the Western guys, so we pay him fifteen million, fifteen point five million, fifteen point nine million base. He doesn't get a bonus because he's a small ASer. You give him 19 million, 18 million, 20 million roll. That's a good deal for Child of Buff. For him, obviously. He's a small ASer. And, and Leonardo DiCaprio, I'd pay him like um a lot of money for his base. I'll give him like 90, 95 million rollies around there. That's a good deal for him. Because he's only worth like 200 something million dollars. He's not as big as Count of Reason all them. Pay him like 90, 90, 90 million roll. That's a good deal for him. He doesn't make that in Hollywood. You see what I'm saying? How my company will blow high out of the water? It's going to blow high out of the water. Yeah, man. All these actors are signing massive deals. You know what I'm saying? That Hollywood, Hollywood, it's very rare that Hollywood gives actors $100 million in royalties. There's, there's been a few times they did that, obviously. But it's rare. Most, most of the times when they get royalties, they get like 10, 15, 20 million, 30 million royalties. They don't make that kind of money in Hollywood. So my company will blow high out of the water. BJ will tell me, Ivan, you don't have to give the actors a piece of rollies, but what you're paying them is enough. You're being far, far, far too generous with the actors. I'm like, BJ, you're being greedy, man. If you're making a big deal over $90 million, if you're making a big deal of me giving Keanu Reeves $125 million, Ben Affleck 66 and Scarlett $60 million, that's a couple hundred million dollars, or 200 like, I don't know, $50 million of it is, when we're going to make, I don't know, $14 million bucks off the movie, you're, you're obviously being greedy, BJ. You're being greedy. You make 14 billion bucks, 13 million bucks for the movie, is two fifty million dollars gonna hurt you, really? It's not gonna hurt you. If it hurts you, then you're obviously you obviously have the Peter Jackson greedy syndrome. You you want every cent of the dollar. Yeah, I have not want every cent of the dollar, my BJ, you're being greedy. I have not two fifty million dollars could have went towards something we could have bought, Ivan. My VJ, if we make thirteen billion bucks off the make your greatest game movie, two fifty million dollars going to Keanu Reeves, God Trans Banavi is not gonna hurt us. Going to be large and John Krasinski is not gonna hurt us. Paul Benny, it's not gonna hurt us. So I'm saying, right, it's pocket change, VJ. It's chump change. And if you pay them that money, VJ, they're going to work harder for us. You're going to get better acting. They're going to destroy the role. And they're all going to brag how much better my company is in Hollywood. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. And you know, I have this company blows high of the world. Yeah, I saw the doc, man. You signed a massive deal, Keanu. Yeah, man. I signed a massive deal. I have this company's better than Hollywood. I had, I, I had all these nice perks. You know what I'm saying? I pirated up on his condo and his yacht. He owns his high end yacht. This high end condo, I got. I, I stayed in a suite during for my training. I had limo services all day. I had a luxury buffet. You know what I'm saying, yeah, man. I was featured on his top high end ad shoots. It was fucking Ivan's company's better in Hollywood. More simple than Hollywood. It's better. It's a better company, obviously. It's a better company than Hollywood, obviously. They're all gonna brag how much I work on. It's in Hollywood. I know what I'm doing. They're all going to brag how much better my company is in Hollywood. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's see. Well, let's say this. So if you don't see me training with George, that means me and VJ have decided not to start Sky. So we, I decided to just live my life with my wife um, without working, obviously. Highly doubt that's going to happen. VJ will want to be... VJ, VJ's dream is to be a movie star. Right, are you kidding me? I want to be a movie star with you. But because VJ's lazy, she might tell me, oh, Ivan, no, I don't want to start Sky Source. Really, VJ? VJ, I'm going to ask you to VJ, like, be, be honest. Do you want to start Sky Source? I don't mind 
If you want to just run away with me and just live a life with me for decades, we can do that. I made 12 billion bucks. We never have to work again. This is enough money to last us for thousands of years, for hundreds of years. You want to just live a life with me or you want to work? All right, I want to, I want to be a movie star. Okay, fine. Let's, let's, let's do the Zanus movie. Obviously. Ivan, are you kidding me? Being in, being in an Ivan movie with you? Are you fucking kidding me? I want to be a movie star with you, Ivan. Okay, fine, sweetie. We'll, we'll start Sky Sons Odyssey. But she might tell me, Ivan, I know you worry. You worry. I know, I know, Ivan, why you worry. Why, why? Yeah, you worry with your... I have the keys, obviously. You worry about your keys. Everyone hates on you. And you, the, the, the keys can make you depressed sometimes. Obviously... You worry about the mess, how these men in Hollywood are going to make you feel like shit. And it might affect you and all that stuff when you work and all that stuff. You worry, Ivan. Yeah, I, I, I worry a little bit, obviously. And that's why you're asking me this question. Is it a good idea? Yeah, VJ. You think it's a good idea for me to start Sky Or do you think I should just live the life with you? Just me and you together. I don't know, Ivan. Either way, VJ would be happy. If I told VJ I don't want to start Sky she'd be like, Ivan, I'm cool with that. If you don't want to start Sky that's fine. Me and you can still do can do our clothes shopping. We can travel around the world. We can we can do, live a life, I mean, you never have to work again. Yeah, twelve billion dollars is enough to last you for what for for at least 200, 300, 400, 500 years. Depends how you blow your money, obviously. Chances are, me and you are gonna blow seven million every year, around there. Obviously, Susanna. You guys will be pissed off. I don't trust guys, obviously. But I am the source of because I don't want my glory to be for nothing. I okay, VJ, I want to be a movie star. It's fucking cool me being a movie star with you. That's fucking cool. And I am VJ movie. We'll make more money uh, anyways, obviously. And being in a documentary too, that's fucking cool. And being in the game, are you fucking kidding me? I'm not going to turn that down. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, will you, I'm like, VJ, will you be fine? Are, are you sure? Are you, well, yeah, I mean, some days I might be sad in the press when, when, when you hire all these Hollywood women that, that bang you, obviously. But I'll be fine, Ivan. Yeah, you know, I'm not worried about my keys. I'm used to the keys. What worries me is is is, 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 is seeing these women. It might piss me off, obviously. But they all they all fuck my husband, obviously. Yeah, it's like me seeing these men in Hollywood might piss me off a little bit too. And sometimes I can get a bit sad and depressed because these men all touch my wife. But I have no choice. I have to hire the Hollywood. Yeah, Vita, we have no choice. If you want, if you want, if you want our movies to be on the same level as Hollywood movies, we have to hire the Hollywood actors. We can't hire C as hackers. We're going to get shitty movies. We have to hire the Hollywood actors. And because we're billionaires, we can easily afford to pay them their, their, their millions. And give them a piece of the rollies. I you don't have to give them a piece of the rollies. Don't be cheap. We can easily give them a piece of the rollies. That way our, comp that way our companies... We solidify Skyrises as a better company than Hollywood. I don't know what I'm doing. Obviously, some Zara. Ivy, like, you don't have to give John Favreau hundred million dollars. Give him like forty million dollars. That's enough, Ivy. Like, don't be cheap. If he's the CEO of your company, you need to make sure he gets paid. Pay him a hundred. It's not going to hurt us, man. If we make twenty billion dollars in the movie, VJ, it's not going to hurt us giving John one hundred million dollars. Ivy, give Dave like fifteen million dollars. That's enough, Mike. No, VJ. He's the CEO. Pay him thirty-seven million dollars. The way he's paid well. He says they're CEOs of our company, VJ. You have to make sure they get paid well. Trust me, VJ, if John wants two hundred million dollars, I'm not gonna pay him that. He's ripped he's now ripped me off a lot. I'm not going to hire the one hundred million dollars for him. That's good enough for him. And I can give him small little raises for the other movies. I got three million dollar raise. For the greatest hit, you pay him one oh three, one oh four. For their unique, you pay him one oh like nine, one ten, and then for the hit of Apple, you can pay him one fifteen million royalties. Then buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it, buy what? By the hit of Apple, we by, by, by the West Gangster, you pay him like 117 million royalties, John Favre. Give him small little races. If I hire him. Is that him? The Russo Brothers, you can give them like 45 million royalties or something like that. 40, 42 million royalties each. And you give them small little raises. Or yeah, it just depends how much the guy's worth, obviously. Like, VJ, if John and Dave are the CEOs of our company, you need to make sure they're paid well. I'm, trust me, Vijay, I'm not stupid. I'm not going to give John $200, $300 in rolling. That's crazy. $100 million is enough. He doesn't make that in Hollywood. And I'm not going to give Dave any more than $37 million. That's a, that's a good enough for Dave. And you give them small little raises. So for the greatest game, you can pay Dave 40 For For, for the greatest game, you can pay John 103 million royalties. Give them small little raises. But I'm not increasing their bonus amount. I'm not, in, And they're really sorry. I'll give them $100,000 increases for each movie. It's a good deal for them. As well, you also have other members of your team. 
Seems there. I'm not going any higher than one million for the secretaries. I'm not going any higher than two million for the other three. And I'll give you one hundred thousand dollar raises for your yearly sire for each for for, for for each following movie. And the secretaries get five point five million dollars for Zanus. The other three get eleven. They get double what they make. And you can give them raises for the Grace Game. For the Grace Game, you can pay the secretaries seven. You can pay the other guys um uh twelve point five million. From Sarah. The Great Escape, you get twelve point five. Secretaries, you get seven. From Zara? You get seven, obviously. You get seven. That's how it's going to work with my seven team, obviously. And they get $100,000 raises for their yearly salary, too. That way, everyone works hard, and, 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 and me and VJ are not cheap like the huge Jackson's in there. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I ran out of time here. I'm going to upload this video. I'm gonna, might, I might take a nap or enjoy the video with you guys. I'm going to I'm signing up. Peace.